fate of Patrice Lumumba is known at last. He is dead. Here, seen with President Kasabubu, Prime Minister Lumumba came to power at the age of 35 when King Baudouin went to Leopoldville for the formal ceremonies by which the Congo became independent. His one serious rival for the office, Kasabubu, was placated by being made president. The dream of independence was realized. This was the moment for which Lumumba had lived. But this was not to be a peaceful transfer of power. Lumumba's many enemies rioted, and from then on, the Congo was plunged into the political strife to which no one can yet see the end. The United Nations flew in a force to restore order, a task altogether beyond its powers. Lumumba never ceased to sway his own supporters. He was never able to win his enemies over to his side. He was fascinated by the sound of his own voice. Then another contender for power, Colonel Mobutu, came into the picture. Lumumba was arrested, roughly manhandled, and never afterwards able to prevail against Mobutu or any of the others who wanted him out of the way. Most people believe that Lumumba has been the victim of political murder. If the Congo escapes civil war, it'll be surprising. <laughs>